Road to Rock of the 2008 World Champions and the 2009 National League Champions, Charlie Manuel. <laughs> and uh, I gave on. I, have, I thought I did well, really. But actually, last year I didn't get to come back because uh, when I left two years ago, they told me it's going to be a cold day in hell before I ever got back up here. Go ahead, Bob. Let's talk about a statement that you made in the meeting yesterday in your first availability uh, with the press where you said, We all, the Yankees, won. That's yeah. nice. That's nice to hear. I like that. Well, you know, uh, like when we got beat in the World Series, you're like to get there, you know, that was good. But at the same time, believe me, when we we were we were we were expected to win the World Series. That's what we went there to do. And when we did not achieve that, you know, like I felt like there, there were some sour grapes there, and not only my, myself felt that way, but our team did. And I talked to them after after we got beat, and I told them, you know, like that we had that we'd come a long ways, and we had a good season. But at the same time, you know, like we didn't get we wanted to go, and I felt like that we wanted to go. We want to go back, and we and we want to play the Yankees because I feel like we owe them one. And uh, we had guys in our clubhouse that uh, I know agreed with me, and that's that's that will be our ultimate goal this year. We want back to win again. And uh, no, uh, I saw an interview the other day, and this lady asked me if I could say one thing, you know, like if I could just say one thing about. Uh, you know, like how things are run or, or, or how the best thing in life would be. And I looked at her and I thought a minute and I said, winning. And she kind of looked at me and I said, winning. I said, winning takes care of everything. Winning is everything. Winning is a teacher. So why wouldn't you want to go out and win? I know baseball is a 162 game season and I know some along the way you're going to get beat, but every day when we go to the ballpark, if we concentrate on winning that game, you know, that, to me, that's where it's all at. And that's why I feel like that you people are interested in the Phillies. I feel like Pennsylvania, and I feel like Philadelphia. I, when you like, when I look around and I see people wave at me when I go down the road, they know who I am now. And uh, they kind of grin. And, uh, and they ask me why, why I don't wear my ring. I don't have to wear my ring. Everybody knows I got one. <laughs>
know, I, I agree with that, but at the same time, Hamilton was 10 and 11 and we still went to the World Series. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, you know, like we need starting pitching to be consistent and we also need bullpen to be consistent. And we need to stay healthy and we need to keep everything uh, organized and keep people in their, in their roles. And the better, most consistent baseball, I say it every year, most consistent baseball that we can play, that's why, that's how many games we're going to win. And the team that plays the best for 162 games will win the National League, and that's going to be the Phillies. <laughs> What would you rather do? Face down an angry pit bull in an, in an alley late at night, or tell Chase Utley he has to sit on the game and rest? First of all, I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> I think we only did one. I mean, I'm scared of Chase either, but uh, that's tough. <laughs> I'd like to talk to the bulldog because I can't talk back. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, I'll tell you something. I mean, hey, oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> I would talk to Ugly, but he'd be on the other side of the door. Now, <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, you have some options now where you're going to be able to sit Chase by. And then, of course, I think he was talking about what he said he understands. Well, you know, like, first of all, I, I, I don't want to miss people because, like, we've got an infielder, Castro. I feel like that he. Tremendous defensive player, and he's a contact hitter. He can play the game, and also we got go to uh, get it plays first base and uh, left and right field, and we got Dobbs back, and you know, like and we, and we got guys that I feel like that we can put in the game and play, and, we, and we're not missing very much from our, from our starting lineup, and uh, you know like and I think that that'll help us as we go along this year. Maybe I maybe I can rest up the five ten games, or maybe I can rest Rollins or Howard. You sit down and you and you uh, look at the lineup and you uh, and you can maneuver guys because of off days. Or if you rest them one day, they can get two days off. And I mean, if we organize things right and we play and we play in baseball like I want us to, well then you know, like I uh, I should be able to rest more people this year. But at, at the same time, you know, like people I hear people say all the time, well, how can we not rest this guy? How can we not do this? <laughs> you know, and I also hear him say, "Oh, he's gonna play. Uh, we want him for uh, for October. Or we don't, you know, like we want him for the playoffs. What happens if we don't get to the damn playoffs?" <laughs> uh, the thing about that, I, like when I hear somebody say that, I hear everybody say that. I hear my boss say that. <laughs> uh, hey, what happens if we don't get to the damn playoffs? I want to play the best team I possibly can every day, but at the same time, you know, I also realize. That our guys that sit on the bench, they need to play too, and they are good players, or they wouldn't be sitting there. So you know, like, and, and uh, if we play the game like I think we would, I should be able to get some guys a rest. Hey, Charlie, you know, uh, there's a lot of. Uh, And ladies, too, by the way, are from that time. Uh, <laughs> Gigi made the right statement that night when he came in. He was talking to me. And he looked at me and he says, uh, he said, it's good to lose that weight. And then Chuck said, you get new clothes. I said, yeah, especially when they're free. <laughs> 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 now, really, uh, you know, I, I went to, uh, last year when I went to spring training, right, right before I went to spring training, I went to have a physical, and I got on the scales, and I weighed 286 pounds. And when I was a player, I played at... Uh, when I was 20 years old or 21 until I was 35 years old, I was telling Scott and uh, Chuck today that I weighed 201 to 204. And sometimes if I felt like I was gaining weight, I'd get on the scales, I'd weigh 204. But, you know, but usually I'd just fall right back to 201. I never, I could never gain weight. Nobody in the world likes to eat better than I do, believe me. I love to eat and there's always food around the ballpark, you guys know that. But anyway, like when I got on the scales and I weighed 286, I looked at myself and I thought, man, it's time for me to lose weight. And then I started seeing these pictures where my stomach was just <laughs> dwarfed over my belt. <laughs> and you know the old saying when you say, hey, you got TB, uh, TB, and TB stands for two bellies? Well, I have two bellies. <laughs> and I finally realized it and I thought to myself, my knees were killing me. And like I had all kinds of problems. I thought I'm going on a diet and I'm going to lose 
wait, well, I go to the ballpark every morning at 5.30, 6 o'clock, and I see Don Shula and I see Marino on TV doing these neutral system ads. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I'm going to try that. And actually, you know, I got, you know, I got involved with it. And I got involved with it, the fact that I wanted to lose some weight. I wanted to get in better shape and I wanted to feel better. And I, and I got on it and I uh, stayed with it. And, you know, and actually it wasn't hard. And it was, in a way, it came off pretty, pretty quick. Looks pretty good. And, and I, I got to tell you, it's pretty great. I know he's got self-control because they put a piece of chocolate cake in front of me and he said no. Brian said no. He kept looking at my chocolate cake. <laughs> Paul, I love chocolate cake. <laughs> and I said, I'm not eating it because you're not eating it. So okay. I'm sure it's delicious, but we're going to take a pass. Charlie, thank you for being with us. We have a couple of questions for the audience. Charlie, man, thank you for having me.